The votes are in, a little bit early I might add, for your fan requested Friday video, and it is unanimous? No, no, see you guys taught me that. It's not unanimous, but it is obvious to me, the winner, and like I said I called it in a little bit early, but... I don't think there's any way, shape, or form. Any of the other three matchups could have caught the winner. Samson Douda, 2022, Arnold's Classics, come on, get to the chapa, versus Hunter Labrada, 2021, Mr. Olympia. What a matchup, guys. And what's more exciting about this than any other type of matchup? I like nostalgia, I like the older matchups, but what's exciting about this is these two dudes might meet at the Olympia. Could you imagine that one? Now, the front double bicep, what do I notice? I noticed how thick Hunter Lebron is in a lot of these shots. He's thick all the way thick. And even in the arms, his arms are just awesome, outstanding. But what Samson Douda brings here is some of the best as far as midsections are concerned in the open class bodybuilding today. That's a vacuum pose for goodness sakes. It's reminiscent of a, of a Sean Ray front double bicep as far as the midsection is concerned. Arms are probably better. And the wheels, Hunter is very thick. All the way thick, thick, thick. And he's winning in the calves too. But that separation might be a little bit better. For our friend, Samson Douda. This guy's awesome. But so is uh, so is Hunter. Go to the front lat spread. And could could they have made this any worse? For the lighting, things of that nature, for the Olympia. I don't think so. They had fog rolling in. Wow, wow. <laughs> they, I think they held it down at the border. Due to the border. Not the best pose for Hunter, but he has improved. And look at the calves. They look like big pregnant termite queens. Just massive, massive. So, no, Samson doesn't have the termite queen calves, but he has decent calves, and he has good separation in those quads, I have to say again. So, wow. As far as the upper body is concerned, I think Samson Douda was born with a good front lat spread. This is an unbelievable shot. He is definitely winning, hands down. In my opinion, uh, Samson is defeating Hunter Labrada. That's the front, though. Go to the side. And here is where that thickness of Hunter Labrada comes into play. Now, if not for the legs, not for the wheels, which I will get into in a second, I would give this one to Hunter. He is just so gosh darn block-like. Samson's good, mind you. Samson's outstanding. Keep that in mind. But Hunter, I mean, the side chest from the side looks like a blockade. And the, now to the wheel department. The wheels alone could get Samson Douda a victory. I mean, that's... Well, that's that's very specious reasoning. <laughs> I don't know if that's the proper terminology for that, but... Anyway, anyway, enough about your, uh, your, your English class today, ladies and gentlemen. Very close in the side chest. Side tricep also could be considered close, but I am a Hunter Labrada man in this shot. And keep in mind, guys, Samson, hey, he does not suck. He is far from sucky in this pose. Wheels again, I gotta say. But this time, Hunter throws a twist. He throws a twist in there, which I do like. Good in the abs, too. And when you look at the tricep, few men, aside from maybe Phil Heath, can touch Hunter Labrada in that aspect. And what a pose, guys. So... Maybe a tie heading into the first of the two back shots. And I generally take some heat when it comes to Hunter Labrada's back. And I kind of see what you guys are talking about, but you have to see it my way, my side too. Hunter Labrada is huge. He's, he's massive in the back. It's just a big, huge barrel back. And Samson's, genetically speaking, it's not that long, I guess. It's pretty wide. But it's not that huge, huge, the size-wise. But the thing of it is, Samson's lat insertions, so much cleaner, so much neater, that you might even want to give him this one. You might even want to give him the rear lat spread. And when you look at the wheels, it's maybe a superior set of glutes, drier set of glutes for Hunter, versus a absolute superior set of hamstrings 
for Samson Douda. Very close, guys. Rear double bicep. Made uh, Samson a little taller. He's holding his legs a little bit different, for goodness sakes, here in the rear double. Same thing. Same bloody bleeming, blooming thing here. Samson Douda <sighs> went into an English, into an Australian, just like that. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, apologize to Samson Douda and all of his countrymen. He's from the UK after all. A lot of great bodybuilders from the UK. Hey, that stems from way, way back when. But anyway, we don't need a history lesson. Rich Park. Um, where was I? Yes, um, rear double. Look at the concave. Um, there's, there, there's evidence of working out in those hamstrings. He's definitely lifting weights is Samson Douda. And in my opinion... I kind of prefer him in both back shots. Abs and thigh. And this one was a surprise to me. Looks like there's superior cuts in the quads for Hunter Labrato. Looks like there's maybe superior cuts in the abs as well. But overall, look at that flow, that chest, the big man's chest of one Samson Douda. And it's funny because in the side chest pose, looked like Hunter was winning in that aspect. But man, oh man. A shot like this is really exposing of the, uh, I don't want to say lack of chest development, but the, I guess, <laughs> exposing of how big Samson Douda's big man's chest is. Finish this one off because this is a very close competition. Very close matchup. And honestly, this is one that it's, it's going to be up to me. It could really have gone any which way. Hunter Labrada, he has a lot of things going for him. He's very complete. Head to toe, he's thick, very thick, massive. Samson might not be as thick, inch for inch, but he seems to have a drier look about him, a better muscle separation, so to speak. And like I said, guys, very close, could have went either way, but it is Fan Requested Friday. I can't, uh, you know, not award a winner. So in my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and give this one to Samson Douda, he is your winner of this matchup, but it's not a clear win. Not by any stretch of the imagination. And I am sure, come Olympia time, they will be very close beside each other as far as their placings. And I'm sure the judges will have them side by side a couple of times anyway. Should be exciting. I'll see if I got the sizing correctly. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Let me know who you think won this matchup. Or who do you think will win come Olympia time? Samson Douda, Hunter Labrada. Which? Which? Have a great day, guys.